Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. So this week I'm upcycling an old dresser. It did have um, a bit that goes on the top, but we've taken that off because we only want to use the bottom bit, which we're going to use as our island. We got this from a local charity shop, but as you can see, although it's solid oak and very heavy, there's uh, some awful wallpaper inside that we need to get rid of. And we also want to give it a paint, so we need to lightly sand the outside so that the paint's got something to key on to. We've got a lot of work to get on with, so I better get on with it. old kitchen uh, it's no longer in use obviously because we've taken the sink and the dishwasher and the cooker and everything else and used it in our new kitchen but the plan is to use the old work surfaces as the top of our new island so the next thing I've got to do is unscrew and remove the surface so that I can take it outside and cut it to size. So there we are, that's the surface removed um, so now I need to take it outside and cut it to size. I've cut the surfaces to size. So I've got two kind of large ones that, are, that use the whole width of surface and I've cut them to one meter length. But unfortunately the, the width of the surfaces are 65 centimeters, uh, which isn't quite big enough for the cupboard that we've bought. So there's an example of you should have double checked the measurements before you go and buy a piece of furniture. So we are going to have to put another piece in the middle which you can see there, just to make it slightly longer, slightly larger. And I'll join all of these together and then I'll screw it onto the top of the kitchen island that we've got inside. So what I'm trying to do here is actually just route uh, a slot, which I'll then have a bolt like this, which will hold the surfaces together. So obviously I'm just using a template um, that I bought previously for another kitchen project that we did. And I'm just routering uh, these holes into the bottom of the wood. And obviously we've got our middle bit in the middle um, that I'm just putting one line straight through so that the screw or the bolt will hold the two edge pieces and the bit in the middle all together and squeeze them all together and hold them nice and tight. So I've done sort of one side and um, I've just got the other side to do, as you can see there, haven't done that one yet. So once I've got all of that, then I'll be able to put the bolts in and squeeze them tightly together. So as I mentioned before, there's the bolts screwing the middle bit in together and they're holding the three pieces all together. We decided to have curved edges, so I marked it out with an old chimney flue. And once it's all marked, I then used a jigsaw to cut out the rounded edges before I then sanded all the edges and also the curved edges as well. So here we are, as you can see, my wife um, has painted the whole cupboard and I obviously fixed the surface. So at the moment it's just loose, it just sort of sits up there. So we're gonna try and fix it onto the actual bottom unit. The paint we used was called French Chic and it's really, really good. It's part, it's called Wise Old Sage and it's part of their El Fresco range. So it's a type of chalk paint, but it's also got resin in it. So it makes it great for outdoors, but obviously in the kitchen, it will be waterproof so we can wipe it down. So you don't need to prime it and you don't need to put a finish. Um, the actual natural finish of it is really nice and smooth, quite matte, but we sort of did a very thin layer first and then put another thin layer on. So we did two coats for this unit um, and we used about two thirds of uh, a 750 mil tin. So 
it goes quite a long way and we're really happy, one with the colour and two with the finish. So now we need to try and start screwing this top on. So I've got my screws. I'm going to drill some pilot holes first and then screw up into this. So we've also got electrics coming up. So as you can see, I've drilled a hole in the back there. I'm going to feed the electrics up through the back of the cabinet and I'm going to fix it on the side so we'll have plugs on the other side uh, for items that we want to use on the island. And I've clamped down the top surface while I screw it in. So I'm just using this wood fuller. We've chosen a colour that's similar to the wood that we've got here. And I've masked either side of the joints and I'm just using the filler to put it in and hopefully fill in the, the gap between the joints that we've created. So we've just taken off the masking tape um, to reveal the bit that we fill in filled. Then we're gonna re-oil the wood surfaces. So when we re-oil oil it, it will probably blend in better. But it's starting to look good and it's really filled the gap. There we are, so this is the finished product in place with a nice house plant as well. I'm really, really happy with it. It looks fantastic. The next thing we're gonna to have to do is try and buy some stools to sit there so we can actually sit at the island. But we're, it's in use, I'm really happy. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Don't forget to click our logo to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our next videos. And I'll see you next week. Cheers guys, bye.